So I saw this interesting post on Reddit where the guy is basically saying that even though he activated his VPN, for some reason he's still receiving emails from his ISP. So maybe he's doing some torrent downloading or maybe he's doing certain activities online. But from his point of view, as soon as he activates the VPN, his ISP should have no idea what he's doing online. And to be honest, that's not completely true because there are certain conditions where even after you activate your VPN, your ISP could still potentially see what you're doing online. So in this video today, let me show you a couple of websites we can quickly access just to fully confirm that our VPN is properly activated and we're not leaking any data to our ISP. And I'll also show you one extra tip at the end on how we can take our ISP out of the name resolution equation. So do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So I can tell you straight away that the most common leak for VPNs are actually DNS leaks. Now DNS, as we can see, is the domain name system. And that's basically the service or process which translates friendly web names or URLs into IP addresses. Now let me just put that into real life. So the job of DNS is to translate the friendly names that we type into our browser into IP addresses that I can understand and communicate with. So right now, if I open up a browser and type in google.com or another address, the first thing the browser will do will see, do I already know the IP address of this website? And if I know the IP address, it will just make a connection to the IP and then it will show me the web page and away you go. Now in the case where it doesn't know what the IP address is, this is where your browser will now say, hey, DNS server that I'm configured to use, what is the IP for this particular website? So your computer will make a connection to your DNS server, which is normally your ISP's DNS server, and say, what is the IP for this website I'm trying to look at? Now in reality, it may need to ask a couple of DNS servers before it actually finds out what is the IP address for that website. And as soon as it finds the answer, it gives that back to your computer and your computer can now make a direct connection to the IP address and you can now see that website. And that's essentially how DNS works. So now that we understand what DNS is, all a DNS leak is that as soon as you activate your VPN, everything on your device should now be talking to your VPN's DNS server. So the next time you try to connect to netflix.com or to any third party application, those requests should only be going to your VPN's DNS server. But in the case of a DNS leak, for whatever reason, your device is still talking to your ISP's DNS servers, asking them to translate those addresses. And that's basically how your ISP can still see what you're doing, even though you've activated your VPN. And here's a great picture that explains what the issue is. So this could be your Fire Stick or your Android device or your PC. Here's your secure VPN tunnel. So this is now where all of your traffic should be traveling. But in the case of a DNS leak, for whatever reason, your device is still talking to your ISP's DNS servers. So if they look through the logs, they can say that Tech Doctor was trying to resolve the IP address for streamingmovie.com or for netflix.com or wherever I'm trying to do, those requests were still going to the ISP and not through the VPN tunnel. And that once again is essentially what a DNS leak is. So with all of that information, how can we now actually check to see if our VPN is leaking those queries or not? Now, the easiest way to do that on your device, whether it's a Fire Stick or your PC or your Nvidia Shield, is to open up your favorite browser. Now, on my device, I'm doing this on the 4K Fire Stick. I'm not activating my VPN. I'm just going to open up my browser, which is going to be Downloader. And in the address bar, let's just type in DNS leak and click on Go. So we're just searching for that phrase DNS leak. And the actual website we want is called dnsleaktest.com. So scroll down and the first one on the list is dnsleaktest.com so let's click on that now when you get to the site the first thing it will show you is your current ip address now obviously when you haven't activated your vpn you'll see your current ip address uh, issued by your isp and once we do turn on our vpn that address should definitely change and if it doesn't change then you've got some issues with your vpn so the first thing i want to do in here is just click on uh, extended test and this will now basically do multiple DNS queries from my device 
to work out which DNS servers is my device using. Now, as I mentioned that on my device, I've not activated the VPN, so this should just use my current configured DNS servers. And we can see with my results, it's found the Cloudflare DNS servers. And the reason for that is in my house, I actually use the Cloudflare DNS servers. I don't use my ISP's DNS servers. And that's basically the bonus tip I had for you that you can actually configure your router or your router. So instead of using your ISP's DNS servers, it can use public DNS servers like Google DNS or Cloudflare, or there's lots of different other public DNS servers out there. And what that means is whether I'm using a VPN or not, my DNS requests are never going to my ISP. They're going to a third party like Cloudflare or one of the other providers. Okay, let's back out of that. Now, let me just take this opportunity to say a massive thanks to all of the new members of my channel. Your support really does mean a lot. And if any of you guys want to sign up, I'm doing a special promotion for the first 200 members, whereby all of you can join my private chat group. And in this chat group, we can talk about stuff, we can provide support to each other, and we can even share our APKs. So some of those applications, some of those toolboxes I'm working on, you guys can get early access to them. So if that sounds of interest to you, do have a look out for the join button. Thank you. So let me now activate my VPN. So my VPN is now activated and I'm using a server in New York. Let's press the home button. Let's go back to the same website. And we can see straight away that it now thinks I'm in New York and the IP address has changed. And if I now click on extended test. So if everything's working properly, all of these DNS requests should now go to the IP vanish DNS servers and not my current configured servers, which are the Cloudflare ones. Let's go down. And we can see it's done exactly that. So this is a DNS server, uh, must be owned by IPVanish, and it's running in United States. So that just confirms that when I do activate my VPN, my device is no longer using my current configured DNS servers. It's now using my VPN DNS servers. Now the second website, which is really good for this is ipleak.net. Now, as soon as you get to the site, it will do a quick scan of your system. It will tell you what your current IP address is and then also check to see if there's any DNS leaks on your uh, device. And then we can just confirm that once again, the only DNS server you can see I'm using is the one in United States and not my current configured DNS server. And let's back out of that. And that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. If you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tutorials like this, more tips and tricks for your Fire Sticks, your NVIDIA Shields, your Android TV boxes, and all the stuff in between, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. I think we are drawing close to that 200K massive milestone. So you hitting that red subscribe button really does make all the difference. So really appreciate your support and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.